Are the Water Wars Coming? by Chris Arsenault, August 2012, from Alternet website. Almost half of humanity will face water scarcity by 2030, and strategists from Israel to Central Asia prepare for strife. The author Mark Twain once remarked that whiskey is for drinking, water is for fighting over. And a series of reports from intelligence agencies and research groups indicate the prospect of a water war is becoming increasingly likely. In March, a report from the Office of the U.S. Director of National Intelligence said the risk of conflict could grow as water demand is up to outstrip sustainable current supplies by 40% by 2030. Quote, these threats are real and they do raise serious national security concerns, said Hillary Clinton, U.S. Secretary of State at the time after the report's release. Internationally, 780 million people lack access to safe drinking water, according to the United Nations. By 2030, 40% of the world's population will be living in areas of high water stress. According to the Organization for Economic Cooperation and Development's Environmental Outlook for 2030 report, some analysts worry that wars of the future will be fought over blue gold as thirsty people, opportunistic politicians, and powerful corporations battle for dwindling resources. Dangerous warnings. Governments and military planners around the world are aware of the impending problem, with the U.S. Senate issuing reports with the names of avoiding water wars, water scarcity, and Central Asia's growing importance for stability in Afghanistan and Pakistan. Water scarcity is an issue exacerbated by demographic pressures, climate change, and pollution. The world's water supply should guarantee every member of the population to cover their personal and domestic needs. With rapid population growth and increased industrial demand, water withdrawals have tripled over the last 50 years, according to UN figures. Fundamentally, these are issues of poverty and inequality, man-made problems. Of all the water on Earth, 97% is salt water and the remaining 3% is fresh, with less than 1% of the planet's drinkable water readily accessible for human uses. Scarcity is defined as each person in an area living and having access to less than 1,000 cubic meters of water a year. The areas where water scarcity is the biggest problem are some of the places where political conflicts are rife, leading to potentially explosive situations. Some experts believe the only documented case of a water war happened about 4,500 years ago when the city-states of Lagash and Uma went to war in the Tigris-Euphrates Basin. Some analysts believe Israel continues to occupy the Golan Heights seized from Syria in 1967 due to issues of water control, while others think the occupation is about maintaining high ground in case of future conflicts. Middle East hit hard. UN studies project that 30 nations will be water scarce in 2025, up from 20 in 1990. 18 of them are in the Middle East and North Africa, including Egypt, Israel, Somalia, Libya, and Yemen. Water shortages could cost the unstable country 750,000 jobs. Commentators frequently blame Yemen's problems on tribal differences, but environmental scarcity may be underpinning secessionist struggles for the country's south and some general communal violence. Water scarcity and potential conflicts arising from it is linked to larger issues of population growth and increasing food prices and global warming which may or may not be important. There are two general views about how these problems could unfold. The first dates back to the work of Thomas Malthus, an 18th century British clergyman and author who believed that the power of population is so superior to the power of the earth to produce subsistence for man that premature death must in some shape or form or other visit the human race. In other words, more people and scant resources will invariably lead to discord and violence. Strife over water, like conflicts more generally, will increasingly happen with states rather than between them, Barlow says, with large-scale agribusiness, mining, and energy production taking control over resources at the expense of other users. The IPPC, the UN panel which analyzes climate science, concluded that water and its availability and quality will be the main pressures on and issues for societies and the environment under climate change. Dealing with these pressures will require improved technologies, political will, and new ideas about how humans view their relationship with the substance that sustains life. 
People have the right to expect access to basic life resources like water by virtue of being human, regardless of the social situation they are born into. Alongside the worrying development of water scarcity, I am hopeful that we will see increasing struggles to see access to water as a right and not as a privilege. Thank you everyone for coming to Plain Mundane Show. I'm Alex Aquarius. Please hit like and subscribe and ring the bell for notifications. I'm out.